Welcome to Lower the Bar with John and Joe. Remember to breathe. This is your power hour. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I'm John, and that's Joe, and you guys know the deal. And we're so glad you joined us today, right, Joe? Yes, we're so happy because we got so many emails about fear. Many of you asking, well, what do you do? I mean, there's nothing wrong with being fear if it serves a productive purpose. So we're going to talk today about two different kinds of fear. Fear that are based in reality, fears that are based in reality, and you're preparing for something, but fears who really are just about the unknown. And we're gonna teach you some techniques to help you move through them, starting with a fabulous morning technique, which I do every morning, and John's gonna share that. Yes, this is a mantra that you all can say that will uh, make you feel a little better, keep you in your power, and just sort of set a tone, you know? Mm Because that's really important. Yeah. I think we don't prepare ourselves for the day emotionally for the day. Most of the time we get up, you know, we brush our teeth, you know, we're thinking about work, what we need to do. But that is probably one of the most important times of our day for self-care that we need to set a tone. It's like an armor. Yeah. Just, I'm ready. Uh Uh-huh. So what you're going to do when you wake up is you're going to say, I am light. I am love. I am the power of source. I am the strength of source. If I were meant to be another, I would have been. But I decided to be here now. So let me run that by again. Mm -hmm. I am light. I am love. I am the power of source. I am the strength of source. If I were meant to be another, I would have been. But I am here now. I've decided to be here now. You don't have to say it in order, so to speak. Hold yourself to, oh, did I forget or whatever. You know, that's not important. But you need to say those words and you need to feel them. You need to Mm -hmm. be resonating in love and grounded, centered, like you were going to meditate. And you can do this really anytime during the day, anytime you're triggered, uh, you feel like you're losing your power, just go to those words. I am power. I am the strength of source. I am the power of source. I am love. I am light. And watch what happens to you. Just even mm-hmm. just saying it, even if you don't even really feel it. It's very empowering. Yeah, you're going to you're going to feel the impact of that and this will help you navigate your day and again, it sets a tone. And it doesn't even take a minute. No. And you can do it anywhere. Even if you forget to do it when you wake up, you're on the line mm-hmm. in your car waiting for your morning coffee at Dunkin Donuts <laughs> in the drive-through. Just sit there, close your eyes, focus yeah. for a minute and just Take back your power. Take back your power and understand you do have free will. And just feel it. Believe it. Mm -hmm. It really makes a difference. You know, I I used to think this was all BS. I really did until I started actually practicing. Mm -hmm. Putting these exercises into form, action. I always put it off or, you know, thought it was BS or just never really connected to it. Then I just started doing it. And in the beginning, again, it felt a little weird. But then after a while, it began to have an impact, Joe. Oh, yeah, definitely. I began definitely. to really feel different. And you began to, and so did I, began to manifest things and feel differently and understand that feeling this love and light, it radiates to other people. It's yeah. contagious. Well, you know, it might sound a little funny, but, you know, things that maybe felt daunting or overwhelming. When I was resonating in this place, I could handle it much better. I could tackle Mm -hmm. it. I I found it was easier to move forward, to take action. And that's really what we need to do in our lives. You know, we don't ever fail. We just hold ourselves back. So we need to understand that. We do not fail. There isn't really failure. We just hold ourselves back. So try it. 
you guys have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And holding yourself back has some benefits because it teaches you lessons. And once you learn the lessons, it won't happen again. But you have to really think about why did this not go the way that I had wished it to go or I had set it to go? Because I don't want to say hope because hope puts it on somebody else. Well, and, it's all... And, and Well, then you learn the lessons. Right. Well, this is the reason. Look what happened because of that. And there's always something positive in a negative event. No matter right. how negative it is, there are positive things and lessons that come out of it. Sometimes it takes, takes a while to be able to look at them and understand that, but they're there. Yes. Well, of course, if we take ownership of the narrative of that everything that happens to us is only about us, then we stay in our power because mm -hmm. then we're in control now. Again, just like you said, you're not a victim or this happened to you. Mm -hmm. You can take action, so to speak, and whatever you need to move through that. But important that we pay attention to it and clear it. Most importantly is clearing it. You know, we, a lot of times we have an understanding of what we do to ourselves, but we don't take action. Mm -hmm. And clearing that vibration, releasing it from ourselves and replacing them with new memory cell atoms is very important. And at another time, I'll go into what that really means. But, mm -hmm. you know, we're clearing old energies, which are coming up right now for a lot of people, feeling a lot of things that they're not aware of or know where their point of origination comes from, what they're feeling. So um, we're meant to clear right now. This is what's going on in the universe. You know, we're mm -hmm. coming to the end of February and the energies that are happening now are really supporting this. So if there's any word to the wise I can give our listeners is whatever's coming up, you might not be aware of now, but you know something's happening, just let it be. Don't overthink it. Don't try to figure it out. Just try to release it and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Well, the same That'll thing with fear. Helpful. If you wake up in the morning and you're having fear of nothing in particular that you have control over. Let's say you wake up in the morning and you fear, oh, I think the boss is gonna call me in today and ask me X, Y, Z, or oh, I fear I'm gonna run into that person that I just don't get along with. There are usually things that you can't control of, the fears that we're talking about that we need to move through. How would you recommend that people deal with that fear when they wake up in the morning. I mean, the mm -hmm. first thing is, is do the mantra. Yes. Do the I have mantra. a great anchoring exercise that people can do. Okay. So let me tell you guys about it. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, you can see what I do. But those of you listening, I'm going to describe pretty directly what you need to do to execute this. But it's really only a few minutes and it will really bring a calming energy, mm -hmm. a grounding. And this is about manifestation, clarity, focus, but it can only be about you. You're not wishing this energy on anybody else. This is only about you, whether it's, again, vibrating in your power, whether it's moving through fear, whether, I mean, it can be anything, but it's only about you and what you want to manifest for you. So you start out by breathing. You're going to take three deep breaths, okay? And then you're going to bring your awareness to your chest area. But first, I need to let our listeners know there is a sacred sound that you need to repeat. And that sound is I-N. And that is with an N, not an M like Mary. It's an N like Nancy. So it's I-N, I-N. I am. And you're going to repeat this three times. So what you're going to do is you're going to take both hands and you're going to put them on your chest. And you're going to feel the weight of your hands on your chest. Very important. Feel the warmth that begins to generate from your palms being on your chest. And you can kind of feel that warmth filling your chest cavity. This is your heart center. And what we're doing now is we're going to activate our heart by getting in touch and activating our creation energy by doing this exercise. So I want our audience to feel their hands and the warmth 
that their palms are generating on their chest. And I want you to bring your awareness to your heart. And I want you to take a conscious breath, soft breath inward through your mouth. And you're going to exhale through your mouth. And you're going to bring your awareness to the space. And you're going to focus on your heart. And I want you to feel the energy, the vibration, the love that's in this space. Okay? And I want you to, again, bring your attention to this. And I want you to, again, take a soft breath in. And on the exhale, when you're done exhaling, I want you to repeat IN three times. So you're going to repeat IN, IN, IN. And I, and I want our listeners to pay attention to the echoing that's coming from these sacred sounds in our heart space, to feel this energy, these words echoing in this sort of chamber of our heart. And just feel the love, the light, the energy that is generated in this space and focus on that. And then I want you to have a thought, a manifestation of what you want for you, whether it's Again, happiness, you know, success, love, connections, wh whatever that is for you. But it's only about you. So I want you to create a thought outside yourself. And I want you to give this thought structure, form. I want you to see it manifest in front of you. And then I want you to envelop, sort of wrap this thought in the love that's in your heart. Feel this thought as it's being enveloped by this love, this energy. And just sit with that. See it envelop this manifestation of yours. And then when you can kind of feel the energy there, I want you to repeat I am as many times as you need to. And I want you to bring that thought into your heart space. Feel it coming through your chest cavity into your heart. And you're repeating I am as many times as you need to until you can visualize this thought, this structure, this form you've given this manifestation into your heart. So watch it dissolve. And you're repeating I am again as many times as you need to until you feel it dissolve. Very important. And then when you feel it dissolve, I want you to, again, bring this awareness of love of energy to this space that you've now brought this manifestation into your heart and just resonate in love. Feel this manifestation and this love just vibrating in your heart center. Mm -hmm. And then when you feel it finally dissolve, I want you to take a deep breath and exhale through your mouth and feel this energy being released. And that's the exercise. That's wonderful because I was thinking I'm empowered to be fearless. Any thought that comes to but you. But seeing that is we're great. dealing with fear this yes. week, especially the fear that doesn't really serve a purpose. There are some fears that do serve a sure. purpose. No, I think that's a great exercise, especially when you can put anything in in your heart space. Remember, yeah. perception is reality. Absolutely. So when we're experiencing we have a different fear, perception. yes. So everyone processes it differently. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you might be feeling fearful and that's where you are. And that's when you need to take action, when you yeah. need to do these exercises because they will bring you back to center, back to self. And you're going to just feel a lot better and be able to tackle. Tackle, right. Because... You can even tackle the one that you really have no control over. Yes. Well, let's, let's talk about the same, some of the fears that people have. They fear that maybe they're going to be let go at their job. And then how are they going to pay their mortgage? That's a fear that certainly has sure. basis when they can see, uh, I have a client who they just let the whole company go. They dissolved the company. And she called me up crying. And I said to her, there's something positive here. And she said, what do you mean? She was crying hysterically. I said, this is the opportunity that you've been looking for to do something else with your life. And I totally changed her perspective. And she said, oh, I'm not scared now. They're bringing in all kinds of people to interview us for new jobs. I said, you have nothing to fear. You're at the top of your game. You'll get a new job. 
you might even only have to work Monday through Friday, no weekends anymore. Well, again, that's and what we do to ourselves. Yeah, change your perspective mm -hmm. on this. This is a gift. And they're well, paying her for six weeks till she finds well, a job. Well, you hit a really, you hit an important point here. And that you said it's a gift because tragedy, loss, fear, all of these emotions that are triggered in us mm -hmm. are teaching moments mm -hmm. as we talk about. So it doesn't happen, not that you're not impacted by a beautiful experience or something that leveled you up, uh, a graduation or, you know, those are wonderful moments, but they're not really teaching moments. They're moments of joy, mm -hmm. you know, resonating in love and appreciation of self, but it's really things that trigger us that are the m most important in our lives. Because again, like we're talking about, these are teaching moments. Mm -hmm. These are opportunities for us to level up, work through what we need to and release it. So no matter what's going on or whatever we're feeling, the most important narrative here is understanding that it's an opportunity to let go. Now, the thought of dealing with something can be very daunting, but if you really understood that going through it that maybe this might never happen again. Mm -hmm. That's a great carrot to dangle in front of yourself, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a real yes. motivator to know, oh my God, if I look at it now, I might not have to deal with it later. That's right. You know, so, so you know, I want our listeners to really keep that in the back of their mind mm -hmm. to understand that, again, everything is about you. Taking ownership, responsibility, all of it is about you. And when you do that, everything changes in your life. It does. And fear can make you so anxious that you really have difficulty making good decisions. Well, let's talk about what anxiety does yes, to you. Yes, anxiety. Absolutely. It can give you brain fog and you go, oh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Even if you don't speak fast, what happens is you have difficulty making a decision because you feel like your, your brain is blurred. So I teach all my clients a breathing technique that I love and I'm going to teach everybody who's listening here today you don't have to see us to do this but I'm going to teach it to you it's a f wonderful way if you have problems going to sleep at night because it's totally relaxing and it helps you go to sleep and it's a wonderful way if you're having a very stressful moment to just stop and again it's just about breathing and if anybody wants a copy of this, because I have written up, because as I said, I give it to every one of my clients. Email I teach us. It to them. Email us at lowerthebar with the three R's dot com and put Joan in the comments. Breathing technique. Mm -hmm. Send me your email and I'll be happy to send you a copy of this. No problem. So I'm going to teach it to you right now. So I want you to, wherever you are, just sit for a second and or for a minute and quiet your mind as best you can. But let's say you're anxious, you're having a hard time quieting your mind. So whenever you want to reduce stress or anxiety, this technique does work. Some people need to breathe more than the three times I'm going to do it. You may need to breathe seven or eight times to get where you need to go, especially if you're in good physical condition because I'm going to tell you what happens. Yeah, I, I yeah. don't mean to interrupt you, yeah. but on that note, everything that we teach you or tell you about, guys, make it your own. Because you might be one thing about what we tell you doesn't really fit or it doesn't feel comfortable. It doesn't matter. Don't get caught up in that. No. I don't mean to interrupt, but again, I think it's yeah. really important that we let our listeners know that yeah. make it your own. Oh, sure. You know? Absolutely. What, what, this what is just a guideline. Right, exactly. What you connect with is what you connect with. So just pay attention to that. All right, go on. I'm okay. Sorry. That's I, I okay. I just wanted to say that. Okay. Um, this quickly calms the responses of the autonomic nervous system, which controls your breathing, controls a lot of different your things. Your heart system. rate, your nervous system. So, and that's what you want because you're like oh, so stressed. Take a deep breath through your nose, hold it. One, two, three, and let out the air through your mouth with pursed lips. <sighs> Take twice as long. So you should be able to count to six when you're letting them out till you're totally, totally deflated. Mm. Then take another deep breath through your nose. 
One, two, three, and let it out very slowly through pursed lips. I say always do at least three. Take another deep breath through your nose. One, two, three, and slowly let it out. And as you do that, I want you to feel probably a little bit dizzy. Depending, if you're in really great physical shape, you might need to do this five times to really feel dizzy. Why? Why are you feeling dizzy? Because you've just oxygenated your whole body. More so, because you don't go around breathing like that normally. It's more shallow on a regular basis. So what happens when you breathe like that? Well, you take it all in, your lungs expand, and the little fingers, the alveoli, give off the oxygen. But because your lungs expanded so much, you press on your nerve. There's a nerve there. Mm. And that nerve goes all the way up. It's called the vagus nerve. It goes all the way up to your brain. And when it gets up to your brain, it releases endorphins, which are natural pain and stress fighters. Serotonin helps you reduce depression and anxiety. And melatonin, which helps the body fall asleep and relax. So it's wonderful if you wake up in the middle of the night and you're having a hard time going back. So if you want this technique, it's fabulous. Well, there's another exercise you can do, Joe, that is also really, really, really helpful. And which one is that? That is taking a ball or your wallet or whatever, you know, something small that you can toss from hand to hand. And you're going to actually toss it from hand to hand. You're going to take a breath. Oh, I know. So this, you, you know, when you're yeah. triggered or you're resonating in fear, just take a breath, take this ball or whatever you're going to toss from hand to hand. It could be and a can of food. Exactly. Uh, you're going to toss it from left to right. And it, what this is going to do when you keep doing this for a minute or two is it's going to stop the signal from your left brain sending the electromagnetic energy to your right brain. And what that is doing is it's kind of disconnecting the trigger, so to speak. So mm -hmm. you can kind of come back to center. This isn't permanent. <laughs> like, you know, no, whatever's triggered you is still going to be there, but this will give you... But you can't the, think negative thoughts when you're doing it. Right, Because exactly. you're so busy right, right, right. trying to... The right brain, left brain, yes. right brain, left brain. And that really, for some people who really, really have a hard time... I have a lot of clients mm -hmm. that negative thoughts... You know, it takes yes, them a couple I of sessions yes. that they have to, that they're able to process the fact that they have control over that. Right. And they need to learn how to do that. Right. That's an emergency thing. Do that and you'll go, oh my God, I'm not thinking about that anymore. Right. That's a, a, <clears throat> a trick that I learned, a trick, it's not really a trick, it's a technique that I learned from Melissa Pierce, who was an, just an excellent hypnotist. If anybody wants that, that's another thing that I give to a lot of my clients it's, uh, I call it negative thought disruptor, but Melissa calls it something much more technical. And I have it typed up. I'd be happy to send you that too. Just put that in the email if you want it. Negative thought disruptor. All you need is something in your hand and you only use one hand. You don't move the other and you don't go eat one hand and then the other hand. And then. So you're constantly concentrating on catching it and you, your negative thoughts disappear. Temporary, but awesome. Mm. Yes, yeah. it's very, it's very effective. I've done it, and it works for me. I've done it with a lot of kids mm -hmm. that are in my practice. Yes. That yeah, they love it. They think it's oh wow, this is magic. And of course, it's no, not magic. You're right, but... <laughs> right. Uh, so let's just quickly talk about next, what we're, oh, we're going to talk do, about okay. next. Okay, next podcast. week we're going to talk about the importance of setting intention how empowering it is when you really set the intention, how to activate your creation energy to manifest your heart's desire. That's gonna be very interesting and I'm hoping you're gonna share what happened to you the first time yes, you practice that. And I do that practice every day too, many of us do. So we hope to, that you'll join us next week and learn another technique that can make your life a little more comfortable. Don't forget, this isn't a dress rehearsal, this is it. Mm -hmm. Very well put, Joe. Well, thank you to all of our listeners. 
and those of you watching on YouTube, and we look forward to next week giving you more information, like you just said, mm -hmm. and uh, helping you guys along your journey. So thank you again for joining us, and have a wonderful week, and remember to lead with love. Mm -hmm. See you next week. Bye. Have a good one.